So when I watched a ton of YouTube influencers reviews of the Sony ZV-E1, they all did test of the inbuilt microphone. And I have to say it was quite impressive. You could hear a noticeable difference when the microphone was focused on the front versus all around and versus on the back. And it did a good job of isolating the voice. So I thought it sounded pretty good, but I wanted to test it myself. So I really wanted to test it against these really expensive, overpriced, and in some cases really poorly made uh, Sony shotgun mics that are built in. Now they offer amazing convenience. This one over here, particularly the lavalier mic has terrible noise and you have to remove it in post, but it does sound pretty good and I love the convenience. And then this one, this shotgun mic right here, who knows, maybe the inbuilt microphone can beat this shotgun microphone. So let's find out in this video. Oh, and also the Sony ZV-1 has an inbuilt microphone similar to all the ZV lines. That's what they're known for. And one thing I don't like about these microphones is that they get pretty dirty. So if you ever want to return the camera and you got a little bit of cruff in there, it's you probably voided the return <laughs> policy. But thank, thank, good, thank goodness I want to keep my Sony ZV-E1. Let's compare the Sony ZV-E1 with the ZV-1 as well. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, so I use the YouTube timestamps to quickly go between each different type of test. And I didn't really see much of a difference when the windscreen was on versus not no, no windscreen. So let me know in the comment section if you disagree with that. Maybe there was a slight difference. Maybe it sounded slightly better without the windscreen. Anyway, so excluding the windscreen and the all direction, the rear road, which obviously sound like crap because why would you even have that enabled? In an indoor environment, when you're recording yourself, there is a huge difference when you use, for example, the Sony shotgun mic. Now this shotgun mic is very expensive and it does a really good job at eliminating the noise and really targeting the voice. And I was very impressed with it. I, 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 and now I can see the value in having this. It does sound a lot better. And with the lavalier mic, I also found it, it sounded pretty good despite, you know, the digital noise that it has. If you plan on using a cage and a top handle and a Sony shotgun mic or lavalier mic, be mindful of the limitations. For example, this Falcom cage clearly looks like it cannot support even mounting just the Sony shotgun mic or lavalier mic. Now with the small rig cage, they do call out the fact that you can pair a microphone onto the cage. However, you cannot mount a top handle. This is one of my biggest pet peeves with the Sony ZV-E1 is that you have limited cage options along with these microphones mounted on top of it. So overall, I have to say this inbuilt camera mic isn't going to be you know, magical, but it did sound pretty damn good. It's gonna be a lot better than probably most other microphones. When I compared it with the ZV-1, I don't know, I had a hard time really, they all sound a little different, but, and they all sound pretty good in the end. Maybe the uh, ZV-E1 had less uh, reverb. Now, these were all stress tests indoors with a semi-treated room. So, you know, it's, it's gonna sound pretty, pretty okay, decently, but if you go outside and take your camera outside, there's basically no room for the noise to bounce and everything. It's gonna sound a lot better basically when you're vlogging outside. So let me know in the comment section, are you to go out and buy, let's say a shotgun mic or a lavalier mic for your Sony EV-1? Or are you just gonna use the inbuilt microphone? And yeah, it sounds pretty good. So I'll leave links in the description for all these products and I'll see you in the next video.